This is a demo for two different kinds of roofs. For the first roof, I'm going to do your basic A-frame um, slope, two-sided slope. And then for the second one, I'll do more of a pyramid kind of roof. So for this first one, I've got my box. I've already started with my box, which I've drawn with two-point perspective. Um, I'm going to decide which side of my box or my structure I want the roof to um, uh, be a, a triangle over or in other words, which side I want the uh, peak of the roof. So I've decided this one's a little bit shorter. It's a, a kind of a um, more square side, so I'm gonna do it over the top of this one. So I'm gonna start out by figuring out where the middle of this wall is. And I'll do that with my corner to corner trick. Draw an X. X marks the spot. There's the middle of my um, wall. So I'm gonna draw a vertical line through the middle here and I'm going to draw it as tall as I want it off of um, the top of this box. Okay, That's going to be the height of the roof. That's a little bit tall so I'm going to put the height right about there. And then I'm going to simply connect that point to both corners of the wall. Okay, so notice how I've got diagonal lines that are going to a point here. They're not leading to an or uh, they're not orthogonals. They're not leading to a vanishing point. They're just connecting the um, pitch or the peak of that roof to the corners of the front wall. Okay. Now I've got to get the top of the roof as it goes over this side of the building, and that I am going to connect to the vanishing point right? Because I know that this is um, going the same direction as this side of the wall. Now this is going on forever and ever and ever, which I don't want. I want the back side of this roof. So what's happening is um, there's what's called an auxiliary vanishing point going on, right? This slope is going to an auxiliary vanishing point, which is somewhere up here. We don't exactly know where it is. It's not really important for our purposes. What is important is that the slope that's closer to you on this roof is going to be steeper, and the slope that's farther away is more flat. Okay? These are both, uh, both of these slopes are going to the same auxiliary vanishing point, but again, we don't exactly know where that is, and it doesn't really matter as long as you slightly flatten out the slope that's farther away from you. So there I have the roof. I can only see this side, right, because it's um, it's the only side that's visible. The other side is hidden from view because it's around the back of this structure. If I wanted to make that roof have a little bit more dimension, I could um, draw these lines of the slope a little bit longer and give it a little bit of an overhang and then I connect those two using this uh, left vanishing point and there I've got a little bit of an overhang. I could do the same thing on the back side, right? Just kind of extend that little line down a little bit. Also line up with the left vanishing point and there's my overhang. So that's the first kind of roof. You see uh, those kinds of roofs a lot in, um, in houses around this area. The second kind is a four-sided kind of pyramid roof and that's usually going to sit on a, um, a square kind of cube. So I've created my tower over here which is somewhat um, even in all sides. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly draw using my vanishing points from both of these corners what this is, is the ceiling. If I could see through this building, I would see to the ceiling of it, and this is the shape of that ceiling. What that helps me with is finding the middle of the building, okay? So I can do my little X marks the spot trick there. There's the middle of this structure. From that point, I'm just going to extend a vertical line up to tell myself how tall I want my um, the peak of my roof to be. And then I'm going to connect that point to um, theoretically all four corners. 
but in this case, all I can see are the three corners. So I'll connect those like that. Whoa, that wasn't straight. Oops. Okay. All right. And then I'll just sort of re darken up. All right. I'm going to shade one side just to kind of make it look a little bit more three dimensional. So in actuality, what we'll be seeing is just two sides of a four-sided pyramid, okay? But you start with the base of that pyramid by figuring out what the ceiling of this structure would look like. Find the middle of it, rise that vertical line up, and then connect your corners that are obvious to that one point. So that's a four-sided roof right there.